All right, guys, I'm going to show you some of the basics of editing your ISO that you legally obtained on your computer. Remember, ask me about where to download it or anything like that. You get banned from the channel. If you're on the NLC in US, you get banned from the NLC. Zero tolerance stuff here, okay? So don't do it. So what you need is this program called GameCube Rebuilder. Now, when you have the ISO on your computer, you first want to go to image and then open and you want to select the ISO. So mine's under good games. This is my original one. These are all modified ones. And I'll go ahead and open that up. And as you can see, it opens up all the stuff. We have a nice little tree here of files. You want to right click this root and hit export. And we'll just put it on the desktop for right now. Press OK. And it's going to go through and it's going to export every single file on that disk. And now we can go through and edit it as we please. So we can go ahead and close GameCube Rebuilder, open up the root folder that was created, and as you can see, database. This is where the fun is right here. If I well, if when, if you need to get the uh, roster files that I've released, um, this is where you put them. So updated players and teams right here. We have an X. BD player, XDB team, and as you can see, these are these ADF files right here. So this is a zip file that I've released. You can go ahead and drag them to your desktop or somewhere, close it out, and click and drag it in right here. We want to move and replace. We don't want to keep extra stuff inside the ISO. So that is how you install the uh, roster part of the mod, I guess. Um, pretty simple and easy. So now it's in this root folder database these are updated now you can also go through and if we learn how to do this um, update the uh, music files if we can edit these uh, muse files um, so we can have custom music in the game if we want um, if someone wants to try to figure out these uh, AST and ABK files with some of the tools we have at the NLSC go right for it we can customize this stuff probably um, I don't know about speech but I mean we, we can edit these things and edit any of the files that are on the disk when we're done doing the edits or importing the uh, custom files, we can go ahead and close out the root folder, open up GameCube Rebuilder again. Now we need to build a modified ISO for the game to use. Go to Root, Open. Now you need to go and choose the root folder that you created. Normally I'd go to my computer, go to my iDrive, go to Dolphin, go to Street Value 2, and then hit Root right here. Because this is where I keep all of my uh, information. However, for in the sake of this demonstration, I put it right on my desktop, so I'm going to select root right here, press OK. It loads up all the information. First, I want to go to root and save. I'm going to save the ISO file, so we'll call this video. And now it's saved as an ISO file somewhere. Let's do F5 on this. It's not there yet. Oh, yes, because first you need to go to root and then rebuild. Then it, then it builds the ISO right from there, sorry. When it's done, it's done. Video ISO right there. So now I can go into Dolphin, load up that ISO, and we're all set to play the modified version of the game. This is only step one though, this is only for the rosters. We need to also do textures, but that is for a different video coming up hopefully next. So I hope this helps. If you need any help with this, please let me know in the comments below and in the forums. Remember, do not ask me where to illegally download the ISO file. Um, but that's basically it. So I hope you learned something. I hope this helps. Feel free to ask me for more help. I will see you in the next video.